Hello Aquarius, thank you for returning to uh, watch my channel. Um, if you are a returning viewer or a subscriber, uh, thank you for your support. And if you're new, welcome. Thank you for being here. We're going to be doing a weekly reading for the week of the, uh, the 8th. I want to see what energies are coming out for you for this upcoming week. Um, actually, let me just make sure that I just noticed my flames are not on. Gotta have the flames on for you, Aquarius, for sure. <laughs> All right, so let's see what energies are playing out for you this upcoming week, okay? Spirit, what messages do you have for Aquarius for February the 8th and into February? please remember that um, these are general messages and the message may or may not resonate with you okay please go and check your sun moon and rising signs to make sure that you're getting the messages that pertain to you at the bottom of the deck we have the Santa Muerte which is death okay so death and rebirth something starting something new or ending something and starting something new we have the five of cups here so you may, as you can see with this really dark sky, it looks really gloomy. This is a gloomy card. Um, so you may be feeling down or um, there may be something or an opportunity in, uh, that you are not seeing, okay? It could be available to you and you're just not um, lifting your head up to see the opportunity that, of what's in front of you. So keep that in mind, um, you may just be feeling a little um, overwhelmed at this time in, in your life. We have the Eight of Pentacles. So you are working hard and you might be feeling a little defeated, okay? Um, but you are definitely putting the work in, you are definitely putting your best foot forward and you are um, working very hard at whatever it, whatever this is. It could be in career, it could be on a project, it could be even in a relationship that you're working really hard on, okay? And then we have the Ten of Cups. So the Ten of Cups is, you know, wish fulfillment. It's happiness. It's the home life. It's being abundant, having enough, okay? Your cups are, overf are overflowing, or your cup is overflowing. So the Tens are a completion, and it's an end of something and a beginning of something new, which is what the Death card also represents, okay? As you can see, the lady here is pregnant, so she's birthing something new, okay? If you are pregnant, congratulations. Um, that's not gonna be for everybody, but if you are, um, I hope that everything goes well with the pregnancy. Let's go ahead and clarify. I'm gonna do, use the um, original tarot, which is the Rider Waite Smith tarot deck. All of the decks that I'm using in the reading today can be found in the description box. Just click on the link and it will take you to an Amazon page where you can purchase the deck, okay? All right, Spirit, let's clarify the Five of Cups, please, for Aquarius. We are um, looking at something that you're walking away from, Aquarius. This is the Eight of Cups, um, and the Eight of Cups talks about walking away. You're done. You're not feeling it anymore. There could be an issue with reciprocation, and this could be in a relationship. It could be at work. It could be with a group of people, with friends, family. Put it how it resonates for you. But you are definitely having, um, this could be with family, okay? Because this is a nostalgia card. And this could um, be that you may um, had to either walk away from a family member or, um, you know, maybe there's some issues that occurred in, in, within your family unit. 
um, that has possibly left you a little, um, feeling a little bad, you know, could have been a quarrel, it could have been some hurtful words, some hurtful, you know, feelings, but you're walking away from the situation, um, whatever went on there was not a give and take situation, okay? And you might be, uh, you know, having some memories about when it was not this way, when things were better, okay? Now, again, I'm saying family because of the nostalgia card here. This um, sometimes can talk about family. Um, and this dispute possibly could um, have gone on in many different scenarios. It's gonna be different for everybody. So please put it, um, in your situation how it resonates with you okay but you are walking away from something that has not been reciprocated um, so let's see what this eight of pentacles is here uh, spirit please clarify the eight of pentacles for aquarius like you are gaining a new perspective on how you're going to be working towards something here. You could be working with an Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius here with the King of Wands. This could be a co-worker, it could be your boss, um, but in this situation, um, you're, you're going to be probably ending this cycle with this individual and moving into a new cycle. Um, it looks like, you know, with the cards here so far, um, endings and new beginnings are a big uh, theme in this reading so far. Um, you may not be um, feeling appreciated or you're, maybe there is not a, um, a give and take situation here where you're giving a lot and someone is not giving enough. You know, you're doing 100% or you're doing like 90% and someone's doing 10%. You know, in, in this situation and um, you're putting in all the work which is not fair, right? If you're in a partnership and it doesn't matter what kind of partnership, it could be a relationship with a lover, it can be a work partnership, it can be a friendship, you know, give and take is important. To be able to reciprocate is very important. So you're getting, you're gaining a new perspective this upcoming week about um, this individual and you're looking at possibly ending this connection, okay? and moving away from this type of um, non-reciprocation and bad behavior, okay? Let's look at what this Ten of Cups is here. Spirit, please clarify the Ten of Cups for Aquarius. Uh-oh, okay. Got the Tower card, Aquarius. Sometimes that can mean disruption. Um, and it can mean challenges and abrupt change. And it is showing up in your family with the, the Ten of Cups, which is family. And you do have the Judgment card as well, okay, that just popped out, which is the truth. Something is emerging and the truth will be coming out this upcoming week about a situation that um, you will have to be strong for, okay? So yeah, the tower, disruption, change, abrupt change. This is gonna be a very big surprise. It can hit you pretty hard, um, can shock you, and um, we'll, you know, it, with the 10 of cups here, this is in the family, as I said. This has to do with family, okay? So with judgment, it's the truth. Whatever's coming out with this tower moment, whatever's gonna be hitting you hard, it's gonna be the truth it's going to be an awakening for you and you're going to have to be strong okay you're going to have to be have to be very strong to endure this blow um because it is going to be a harsh blow to you please prepare for this okay um now this could be anything it could be you know um disputes um verbal disputes with family it can be something anything that um, brings in change okay with the death card here. The death card really talks about change, transformation. And with transformation brings in new opportunities. So just remember that. Even though change is not always easy, um, the opportunity to gain new perspective and move into a new direction is always um, 
the the end game right and transformation happens to everybody all the time it's how you deal with it and how um, how you move into a new direction so please take that um, how you will um, I'm gonna get one card before I close the reading um, Aquarius if you like the video and if it resonates with you please like share and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you can be notified when I post new videos, okay? Um, if this did not resonate with you today, please just go ahead and move on. I have a playlist that you can go check out for other videos. Um, also, again, check your sun, moon, and rising signs. Every time you go in to see a video, you'll know which signs will uh, be more uh, appropriate for you, okay? Spirit, please give me one last message for Aquarius before we close this reading today, please. So we have seek the lesson yeah with this tower moment it's going to bring in a huge lesson for you Aquarius whatever this lesson is it's going to teach you and it's going to allow you to um, to seek opportunity okay um, just remember even when it seems so difficult and um, when you can't find your way out of a situation you may feel this heavy energy right that dark sky that very gloomy feeling right that you can't um, seem to move on or move forward get yourself out of the mud and seek the lesson in whatever this is okay it will allow you to move forward and look at the opportunities through the dark skies allow you to see the sunshine again it's going to take strength here Aquarius whatever this is it's going to take a lot of strength so prepare yourself, ground yourself, make sure that you, you know, are getting enough rest and you are, um, you know, doing the self-care that you need to do for yourself, okay? Um, self-care is very important. So if you do that and you get through this, um, you will get through this. Just make sure there is an important message in everything that happens to us in life, especially the most difficult times in our lives. The suffering brings in lessons for us, okay? All right, Aquarius, I'm going to go ahead and stop here. If you um, like the reading, like, like I said, please don't um, hesitate to like hit the like button there, okay? All right, I love you guys, and um, until next time, namaste.